What is up guys? This is the Karmic DF from TikTok and today we're going to go over how easily it is to be triggered and what we can do moving forward so that we don't get triggered anymore. Because honestly, especially if you're someone who's like an air sign or air sign dominated, we think a lot, right? We overthink things and that's why we get triggered. But what we can do moving forward so that we're not triggered, so that we can start to actually have control over our own emotions, is we start to ask ourselves why. We start to pause in the middle of really hard situations. We start to control our consciousness because remember, as we grow throughout life, we're really being run by our subconscious program. Most of our brain, I think it's like what, 10% of our brain is consciousness? And then the rest is subconscious programming, something like that. Google it, put it in the comments for other people. But we deal with these triggers not in a healthy way, right? Like someone will upset us and then we'll get upset and then we'll flip out and it gets bigger and bigger and then we wonder and then we go into this what's wrong with me phase, which is horrible and I want all of us to quit doing that because there's nothing wrong with us. We are learning lessons. We are growing. We are evolving. And how do we do that, right? How do we evolve from all of these triggers coming at us, especially if you're in the middle of a spiritual awakening, you're probably getting triggered in every avenue, work, friends, relationships, family, all of it, right? A lot of us have never had the people that were capable of teaching us what to do in these situations. A lot of us come from homes that were designed to, you know, chase the bag not the emotions, you know, push those down, don't really acknowledge your feelings. And that's why disease is a thing, dis-ease. We need to start working on this. We need to start putting ourselves first. And that's something as a society that we don't do anymore. We find that to be something that's selfish. We think that we're conceited if we love ourselves. We've gone so far off from just being normal people that have normal needs. So how do we get ahead of people triggering us in a society that is so full of people that are broken trying to bring down other broken people? When you're triggered by whoever, wherever, whatever, whenever, it doesn't matter. The point of it is it's a lesson. It's meant to show you something inside of yourself that hasn't been healed yet because everybody outside of you is a reflection of either you or things you need to heal. So there are people that come into your life that remind you a lot of yourself and it makes you feel good because you have that person. But what it's meant to teach you is that you should love yourself. You know, if anybody's been in a twin flame dynamic, the things that you love about your twin flame are often either you, things that you should love about yourself, or things that you already intended to do with your life, so you're finding that attractive. It's very interesting how the universe works. But we do have control over how we choose to react. And of course, in the beginning, it's going to be hard because we're not used to trying to, you know, disengage and try to re-empower ourselves. But when you're triggered, when someone says something messed up to you that hurts your feelings, I want you to try and pause. Take a step back. If you can remove yourself from the situation, highly recommend that. And then I want you to dig, and I mean dig internally into yourself. So let's come up with an example and then we'll kind of go through how this would work. Let's say you've been seeing somebody for like a month, okay? And you feel that you're ready for a relationship or you feel that you're ready for the I love yous, whatever have you. And that other person is like, um, no, I'm not ready. Um, it's too soon. I just want to see where things go. This could be its own separate video where it's up to you to decide if you want to stick around or not. But ask yourself, because a lot of women, when they hear this, they're like, oh, Oh my God. And they internalize it and it, men might be the same too, but you internalize it. You wonder like, why am I not enough? Like, haven't I shown myself? And then we overgive to try and prove even more that we're worthy of something. We are so used to proving ourselves instead of thinking that maybe just maybe the world doesn't revolve around us. It's not always about us. In fact, most of the people that verbally attack you are coming from themselves. They're not coming from something you've done to them. They're not coming from a place of you're the bad guy. More often than not, when people are in that ugly place where they want to attack somebody, it's because they're not okay in their own worlds. So like the relationship observation, instead of going like most women often do if they don't feel great in themselves because society doesn't help you build that love for yourself, they can over assume and be like, well, he doesn't like me. He doesn't find me attractive. What's wrong with me? Why am I not good enough? When in reality, his reasoning could be something as simple as, 
I was raised to believe that I'm a provider and I don't have enough money to provide and now I'm being triggered because I don't think I can be what you need. We never consider both sides when we're being triggered. We consider our side. We want to save ourselves. We want to go back into that inner child like, oh, I'm wounded. I need to save myself instead of looking at the bigger picture. And we can even go to our friends sometimes and our friends, they don't always have the best advice because they're not there you know our friends can be like ride or die type people that will defend exactly what it is that you want to hear and not tell you what it is that you need to hear you know so start thinking about why you're being triggered by these people instead of thinking they're awful people this that, and the third which of course there are awful people out there but what can you learn from these triggers because we've all had bad people in our lives we've all dealt with things that we didn't wish upon you know but if we look at things from an observing type of place observe don't absorb you know try to understand why this person came into your life why you're being called to think about your emotions you know in the case of the relationship thing it's two people it's always two people when you're in a fight when you're in a conflict start to think about why that person is behaving the way they are take that pressure off of yourself because like I said in the beginning it's not usually about you it's more often about them like you could have started something maybe you uh, helped when they were already in a bad place you know you kind of added to their frustration but in the end we've all got our trauma and if you think about it when you're in a good place when you're a good frame of mind you're having a good day you're having a good life what have you you're not gonna be somebody who snaps at other people you're not gonna be somebody who yells at the clerk. You're not going to be somebody who's mean to your friends because you're good inside. It's when we are not good inside that we react and we attack other people. Once we can reframe our mind around the people and situations that are attacking us, we can start to learn from it and start to see bigger pictures and start to recognize that it's not about us. And we can go on loving ourselves and we can go on believing that we're worthy of more than we accept in life. We have to stop personalizing it and making it always about ourselves because a lot of times it has nothing to do with us. So I challenge you from now on, every time you're triggered, I want you to pause and ask yourself why. Just why, you know? There's no benefit in, if you're being triggered by a person, there's no benefit in arguments, so don't humor that. Might as well use this as an educational experience because that is exactly how the world works anyways. People are in your lives for one of two reasons. They're a blessing or they're a lesson. So if they're a lesson, it's time for you to learn that lesson so that you can benefit from it, right? It sucks that we get triggered, but we might as well get something out of it, you know? If you have, you know, a parent that's not emotionally available and you're being triggered, start to learn where this stuff is coming from, you know? Like, like I said with the relationships, if you have bad relationships, is it coming from bad parents? Is this what you knew growing up? Start growing up. Start looking deeper because the deeper you look the more you'll understand how you work how other people work you'll understand what you want what you don't want what you'll put up with what you'll refuse to put up with it's really just a matter of understanding what these triggers even mean if you're on social media and you get a comment from a complete stranger that is talking crap about you they are a stranger so use that as a moment of thinking why does this bother me right now? Why, why do I care about someone that I've never met, that I'll never see, that I'll never speak to? Use these moments to understand yourself. Don't humor the fire with other people when they want to argue because they're in a bad place. Use these moments to understand what buttons you still have that can be pressed and what work you still need to do on yourself. You know, if you have, Again, I'll go back to the social media thing. Like, say someone makes a comment and they're like, oh, you're a fat, ugly B word, you know? And now you're super angry and you're typing away on your keyboard. Who called you that? Who in your life called you that? Who was important that brought you down like that? Or did that happen to you in childhood? Did that happen to you in elementary school? And that's why it's a trigger for you. You're not mad at the stranger on the internet. You're getting triggered from something in your past. And that's what you really need to look at. What from your past isn't healed that's being exposed to you for you to have the ability to heal right now. So next time you're triggered, next time you're feeling like you're not enough, next time yada yada, I want you to truly think about where that other person is coming from, where you're being hit, 
why it hurts the way that it does because I'm telling you chances are it's something that you need to heal inside of yourself from the past and once you do you're not going to get triggered anymore because you're not going to care because you're not going to recognize that as something rude because it's not going to resonate with you you know like I, I've been very honest about this I used to be an alcoholic and now you know two and a half years later if somebody's like oh that bitch she's crazy she used to be a drunk I find that comical now because it's not painful I've healed that part of my life I've taken what I got with the lessons that I needed and then I moved on and I healed I gave myself permission to understand that I was going through something and I gave myself the love that I didn't get that I needed I was the caregiver for myself I was my own best friend I was my own healer and that's the place that we all need to get to where we can do it for ourselves where we stop relying on external people external sources you have everything inside of you to stop being triggered to start being the best version of yourself to start loving yourself to start finding people that are extremely codependent and like to argue you're going to start to realize that they are just nonsense you're not going to be bothered by it anymore because you're going to learn what other people refuse to learn and that's what's still hindering you from being the best version of yourself so if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments I hope this video wasn't too triggering I don't believe in blaming people you know we've all come from different stages of life you know I was an addict I was diagnosed with mental illness you know we all have shit that we come from you know but you have every ability of loving and enjoying the rest of your life so from now on when you have assholes coming at you left and right sideways saying whatever they feel they can because you know everybody thinks they have a right to run their mouth just think about where it's coming from and stop focusing on the person that's actually giving it to you because chances are your guides probably sent them down to piss you off you know like sometimes that is what it really is you know but in times where it's just somebody being an asshole ask yourself why you're being triggered write it down heal that piece of you and notice that eventually life's gonna get a lot easier things aren't gonna be upsetting anymore and you're gonna trust in your own guidance system and that's all that you will need to be happy in life. So with that, I love you guys so much. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of this. If anybody thinks that this could help somebody, please let them know. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Love you guys so much.